guys, it's A, I'm back, and I know once again we and I, none of us have done it, no, 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 Peggy did do some stuff after I had my whole slew of four videos I did in one day, but after that nobody did anything because we all got busy with finals and then we went away for the winter break. Well, you all went home, I came home for a little bit and saw you guys once. And then went off to India for a month. So, yeah. That would explain that. So we're back from winter break. And this is the first one of the new year. So, happy new year. Even though we're like 20 some, 25 days into the new year. Happy new year, you guys. Um, so, yes. I am using, actually, that's why it's shaking. I'm using this old tablet computer of my mom's bad she bought like a year and a half maybe two years ago but she lost the charger cord for it so she stopped using it and I forgot it existed until I found the actual charger cord last weekend and I'm like oh it's a tablet I can use it for school I don't really use it for school I mostly sit there and do my homework for the other class while I'm sitting in econ but hey, I'm still using it but I have a whole rant about that later uh, the first thing I wanted to say was, this, I think I realized why we stopped. One, Peggy and I got really behind because we started that whole, oh, let's do a week on each person and do videos about how we met them and stuff, which was a good idea, but I think none of us are quite, well, at least Peggy and I, were not quite as motivated or determined to do all this, plus we got caught up in a lot of crap. So, I think we should just go back to our original idea of just checking in once a week. And we don't have to do anything special. We don't have to try and make it funny, which I think is both with my problem. I was trying to make it funny or cool and interesting, except my life was not funny, cool, or interesting. And it still isn't. So, it didn't really work on my end, at least. So, it's just a little update saying, hey, I'm alive. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. We were planning on doing a video chat on Monday, but for many reasons it didn't work. Mostly because I think we were all exhausted, actually. We all seemed really tired, at least via uh, Facebook chat. And why is my hair in my face? I just did. I just took a shower, so it's like all poofy and sitting on my face. Oh well. Thanks. Um, so... The only thing that interesting that happened this week was snow, which I'm going to show you. This is why I use the tablet instead of the computer, because it moves. The computer, if you unplug it from the power cord, immediately dies, because the battery is just useless. But look, it's snowing outside. I don't know, can you see? There you go. See? And it's really pretty and calming, except it's kind of been going on like this for the entire week. Like, it'll stop during the daytime for... A little bit and then at night after I've gone to bed it'll start up again so every morning I've had to sit there and unshovel my car which is kind of annoying because my school which I hear from my my new English teacher is like the Ohio version of Fairfax County in which it never closes my teacher actually canceled class I got up Tuesday morning got dressed, shoveled out my car, went all the way to school early because I hadn't finished my homework, finished my homework in the library, then ran over to my class and saw a sign that it was canceled. And I'm like, school is still open, yet my class is canceled. What? It's ridiculous. They don't close for anything. The only thing that, I mean, like, seriously, you should have seen it earlier this week. It was, they had to get, they had to have people out there shoveling out our sidewalk and stuff, like, every two hours in order to actually be able to get out the door. And it's still like the sidewalk, you can't actually see the sidewalk. You're walking on a layer of flattened down snow. That's your sidewalk. And where I'm driving. Once you get on the highway, it's okay because they had the bigger snow trucks out there to get like the highway cleared off. But in these inner roads, where my house is and where my school is, you're still driving on just packed down snow. And I'm like, this is interesting. I don't know how I'm going to make it, but I tried, and I did make it the entire week of classes. And the funniest thing is, the only thing that's happened is because my dad replaced my tires last year. If he hadn't replaced my tires, I would not be going anywhere, because they were in horrible condition. They were not ready to drive on snow. 
It was, uh, it was horrible. So that was the only class that was canceled, though. Every other day I had to go to school and shovel out my car and freeze to death walking for the two minutes between the car and the front door and then be, like, ridiculously, like, shedding layers of clothing. I had, like, tights under my jeans plus another pair of, like, sweatpants over my jeans with my boots just to keep my, like, my legs warm because I already had, like, four jackets on top or sweaters. And then I got into school, and they keep the school ridiculously hot because I guess they're trying to overcompensate for the outside. And I'm like shedding stuff and sweating, and I'm like, this is disgusting. So that's the only interesting thing this week. It's been snowy. And my mom's also not here, which I think I said, not in this video, but I said earlier, she's off on a cruise in the Caribbean, and she's sending me, like, text messages from the Cayman Islands. She's like, oh, and I was in Mexico today. It's so pretty down here. We should definitely come back. And I'm like, uh-huh. Shut up. I'm going to kill you when you get back. So, yeah. My teacher is like, one of my, I was just saying this to my English teacher, and she's like, oh, abandonment issues. I know how you feel. And I'm like, so true. <laughs> anyway, so for my first taste of Cleveland winter, it's been annoying, but actually kind of pretty, because once I sit at home, and I've, I don't have to go out anymore, and I'm all curled up in my bed. And then I have like some nice music playing, I have warm tea, which is lovely, tea is beautiful. And like a book or TV show or something, and it's been actually quite nice. I don't know how my puppy's been doing, he's been wanting to go out like every two hours, and like I have him on a chain so he can go out in the front yard a little bit. But I'm like, it's snowing, you come back in like two minutes because you've got like clumps of snow all over you, but you still want to go out. Okay, whatever you wish. And what other thing interesting happened this week? Oh, right, the tablet. So when I found the charger cord, because this is an old HP touchpad that would not charge without the actual charger cord, you needed the one that came with the machine, and I'm like... I have cords that fit your thing and they fit to the wall, just freaking charge. No, please connect with charger and I'm like, you are so fucking stupid. So that was how it happened for like a year and a half that we never used it. And then I managed to find the charger miraculously. I wasn't even looking for it. I was looking for a pair of socks, but I found charger instead. And it charged and then I opened it and I realized it was really, really kind of useless because I don't know how much you guys know about operating systems and stuff like that, but it had it didn't run on, it's not an iPad that runs on Apple software, and it's not a Google tablet or anything like that, or an Android tablet where it runs on the Android system. It had this whole own unique HP system called WebOS, and it didn't come with, like, you couldn't even download Google apps or the Android apps. Forget iPod apps. It had its own HP app catalog, which had basically nothing. It was kind of entirely useless for me anyway. I mean, you could use it if you're an HP... It worked really well if you're an HP person because you could connect to your, like, work... virtual private network through it and do all your work stuff because it had the whole Microsoft suite, which is great. But I don't need it because I don't work for HP. My mom does, but she has her own laptop. I'm the one using this tablet. So I was about to like sell it on eBay when I was I miraculously came across this whole thing where you can hack your tablet for the HP Touchpad. They had a whole system on where you can replace the WebOS with an Android operating system. And I sat there for like six hours Sunday afternoon and just played around with it and switched them out. And now it's like a brand new. Android tablet, like, worth, I don't know, these things are worth, like, three, four hundred dollars? No, no. Five, actually. Five hundred dollars. And I got it for, like, I think my mom paid, like, a hundred and fifty for this tablet, and I got it fixed, and I was like, yes, I don't have to buy a new tablet, it's perfect, and I'm like, I feel, it was kind of like a moment for me in which I felt like, I felt like a geek. I felt like this nerd girl person who could do all this cool software stuff and not completely burn the entire place down. I did it. It's working perfectly. And it's completely, like, up to date. And it has all these lovely apps. And I'm just sitting here playing with this. I'm like, this is so pretty now. So that was my moment of ability. And then I went and told my one friend who actually knows about all this stuff, Ben. And he's like, oh, you've turned into a techie. I can, like, talk tech stuff to you. And I'm like, 
you can try. <laughs> I only know so much, but yeah. And then he's like, okay, since you can do this, and the next thing you can try is doing your phone. And like, because my phone is running on like an older system of the Android OS, because Samsung for some reason has forgotten that it made this special phone just for AT&T. So I can go and change it out, but that'll need a lot more work. Plus, I'm likely to lose all my pictures and stuff, and I'm like, ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna wait till I can do a proper backup of this thing and save all my pictures before I do this because if my pictures die, I will die. And my music. If my music goes off of this because I've been downloading music straight onto my phone rather than going through my computer because I don't need to do that with an Android phone. And if my music goes, I will be a puddle of useless goo. Just, you, just It would be bad. It would be really bad. So I'm gonna make a proper backup and do all that before I get started on that. But I'm so excited. I feel kind of geeky. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I just, it's just like, whew. I don't know. I'm wasting a lot of time, as you can tell. I've had a whole week of being at home by myself, and my classes, like, two of them haven't started yet, so it's, like, really limited amount of homework that I've had to do, which I've also been procrastinating because it's so limited and I have so much time. And I'm just, like, finding ways to waste time. Like, yesterday... I got really sick and tired of sitting and watching TV because I've gotten to the point where K-dramas and all these other things don't really interest me that much anymore where I can sit there for hours and watch it on end, which I used to do, but I've gotten really sick of it now. So then I went, I rediscovered, we had this gorgeous library. I have to put pictures up of that place, by the way. We have this beautiful, beautiful public library near my house. And it looked really pretty in the snow, especially. It has, like, a water fountain inside and this lovely seating area. I, it's, like, an old mansion that somebody donated to the government, so they made it a public library, and it's just stunning. Okay? Beautiful in there. I'll put up pictures. And um, I went and checked out, like, four books, and I'm like, yes, it's beautiful. I don't know if any of you probably don't have time to read new books, but if you do have time... Where is this? There's this new author that I am in love with. Well, he's not really new. He's been around for a while. But I've newly discovered him. Called, he's Japanese. You can see this Haruki Murakami. Am I saying this right? I'm saying his name wrong. I know his last name is fine, Murakami, but I don't know how to say his first name. Haruki, Haruki. Anyway, he's amazing. It's like, I can't explain what his stories are like. They're really, like, ordinary but really really strange it's like completely ordinary japanese people having these really random strange kind of existential experiences it's it's brilliant it's really good you should go check out his work his short stories were really good i read this one thing called the elephant vanishes which is like a collection of his short stories when i was in india at my cousin's place oh my god it's beautiful it's so cool i have no idea if any of you have time to read you Peggy most probably doesn't. Considering Pearl and Bear are going to go to Katsu, they probably don't either. But if you do have a chance, go check him out. He's good. And I think that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Just say hi and maybe somebody else will update. Or maybe I'll just keep talking to myself. It's kind of fun, actually. We'll see. Oh, and I'm sorry. Yes, the video quality is, again, really, really bad. I'm working on a tablet that's like three years old here, too. But it was portable. That's basically why I'm using it. And you're here to listen to me talk, not how pretty my face is, which is not, considering it's winter and it's dry. I realized, I went back to India. This is what happens. I went back to India and I realized I should live in a place like India. Why? Because it's freakishly moist and humid there, and my skin, like, lives it. Loves it, sorry. <laughs> I went there, and seriously, within, like, Two weeks of being there, I have pictures. My skin was completely, like, clear. There was nothing. I usually have, like, really dry skin and then, like, little pots and little, little things. Like, I mean, I don't get huge problems, but I can tell, like, my skin is, like, discolored. Like, parts are lighter and parts are darker, and it really bothered me, but I'm like, whatever, I don't really care. But two weeks there, all of that cleared up. I became fairer. Get this. I was in the sunlight. I was in the desert for a week. And I got fairer instead of tanning. There's something freakishly wrong with my skin. I got fair. And then I came here and started getting tanned again. It was just disgusting. I'm like, it's winter. I'm not even going outside. How am I getting dark? It's weird. 
America's weird. India's weird. My fucking skin is weird. But that's what happens. I go to India, and my skin just clears up, and I start becoming white. And I'm like, the fuck is wrong with this place? So, I have to go live somewhere where it's really hot and humid. Yay, because I hate hot, humid places. But that's where, that's where my skin feels happy. And my hair, too. My hair was all nice and silky and soft and wasn't, like, falling out when I took a shower. And it was shiny. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why can't you do this in the States? Why do you only do this in India? I hate you. And my dad's like, oh, it's because we're in a tropical climate. This Everything grows better in a tropical climate. I'm like, fuck tropical climates! I don't live in a tropical... Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. Ugh. That was all I wanted to say, honestly. <laughs> I'm just continuously ranting right now. Ignore me. I'm, like, having too much sleep lately. I go to bed at, like, 10.30 and wake up at 9.30. And I'm like, why am I going to bed so early? Why am I waking up so fucking early? <laughs> this is what happens to me, guys. It's not a pretty picture. It's not a pretty picture. I have to leave eventually, really soon, actually. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Also, I got straight A's last semester. Which is really cool. Which you already knew. But I just felt like saying it out loud again. I haven't gotten straight A's in the longest time, so it feels good. And I swear to God, that's it. I don't know. If I keep continuing talking, it's going to get even worse. So I'm going to sign off now.